Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Miraculous Monday. No new announcements for today, so let's go and hop right into this video. Marinette's costume changes. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. It's like, it's got all the different Miraculous on here. I don't, I guess, this is maybe the peacock? Or, no, maybe the bunny. Maybe the bunny. It's a little hard to tell. And I don't know what this one is, but they all look really cool. They're all like an old-fashioned-y too. Oh, that's so awesome. Also, there's birds chirping outside. I don't know if you can hear them, but I can hear them. So, I know they're there, but do you know that they're there? I could just be making this up if you don't hear them, so are there birds? Who really knows? He is so sweet! My favorite moments are when I'm with you, my lady. The way Adrian doesn't know just how true this is on both sides of the mask, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so true. Oh, season 5 is coming soon, if you haven't seen my news video on that, definitely go check that out, but man, Maybe only a month away. It's getting crazy. Oh boy. Flower boy. Oh, this looks awesome. And I love that the way that you did the eyes. It sort of reminds me of Portal from Rick and Morty, but I love the color it's, it, and the gradient too. It's so good and vibrant. And that's like the star of this whole picture is just the eyes. Like your eyes, funny, are drawn to the eyes of the photo. That's awesome. I love this one. They are so special to me. Lady Noir Eiffel Tower dates. Oh, that's awesome. And it's cool how you have it in three different times of day. You got like broad daylight, you got, I guess, dusk, right? And then you got the nighttime. That's so cool. But yeah, <laughs> these are so cool. I never like, we should get a compilation of all the times we've seen like different kinds of day. Cause you know, different studios animate different kinds of day differently, right? So it's like, it'd be cool to see all different kinds of Eiffel Tower. I don't know why. I just think that'd be kind of interesting. Maybe that's just me, but am I the only one who wants to see that? Am I the only one who's crazy? Kuro Neko. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. It's such a nice angle too with the action shot and the moon. Oh, this is so cool. And then the way that it's drawn, there's like some motion blur that really like brings it to life and the stick is angled as if it's like actually, that's so cool. Oh. I love that. XD, honestly, it's so funny that Adrian doesn't have a clue about what's happening around him. This is so accurate. <laughs> he, lo he knows literally nothing in comparison to Felix and Gabriel and just like we as the viewers, which I guess sort of makes sense. But like Felix, like compared to Felix, you would think he should know more. But it was just, that just means everything is, is going to come crashing down once he figures it out. His whole world is going to be flipped upside down. This iceberg is going to be reversed. It's going to cause a huge wave in the timeline. Actually, that's a really good analogy. I like that. Marinette did nothing wrong in Bifana. It's been a hot minute since I've seen Bifana, but basically, I think the whole reason why Marinette's grandmother was akumatized was because, you know, her grandmother kept treating Marinette like how she treated her like when she was a lot younger. And she was like, I'm an adult now. Or actually, no, she's not an adult now. Um, you know, I'm older now. <laughs> um, you know, I don't want to, you know, have this bad candy anymore. I don't want to go to the zoo or wherever they were going, right? And so, you know, the grandmother just got upset, right? Nothing really wrong there. That's just sort of something that happens as you age. So I would have to agree. I don't think Marinette did anything wrong here. I think her execution could have been a little bit better. She could have just said like, look, grandma, I'm not a little kid anymore. I'm, I want to go hang out with my friends today, right? She didn't have to do it the way that she did, which led to the accumulation, but her wants and needs are justified in this circumstance. So, you know, in that regard, I think she didn't do anything wrong. Mari Chat by Danny Smile K. Okay, so we got them laughing, I guess, at the movie theater. Oh, okay, so this did actually happen. Okay, I didn't, I couldn't remember if we had seen Mari Chat at the movie theater, but I guess we have. I really like this. I love the like the glowing background too. It just it, it feels so dynamic. The show, you can tell if we go back here. This was definitely done by like Gloob. No lighting here. Very poorly done. No like life in it. Very sad. But the fan art really revives it. So, yeah. Good job, fan art. <laughs> So many oh moments. Okay, but the fact that this is Marinette and Adrian, like, can you imagine them looking at this pic after the reveal? And so many other pictures too. Oh my gosh. Things are gonna get so funny. 
And what's great is Alia just has a big collection of all these. And I know, you know, Marinette was like, you gotta delete all these photos. Alia still has them, don't worry. You know, you don't just delete those, right? You put them away in a hard drive and just throw it in a closet. And then if you really need it, or when you're going back through your old stuff, and then you realize you have it, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is a treasure trove. And as soon as Alia knows, and like, you know, obviously after the reveal has happened and Alia knows everything, and you know, they're just gonna be chilling as friends, right? Alia's gonna be like, so I was cleaning up my closet, found this hard drive, and I had a lot of these photos, so I printed them out for you, and she'll just show them and torment them. It's, so, it's gonna be so funny. We're probably never gonna see that, but just knowing that that would happen in the future, as a result of everything, just knowing who Alia is and everything like that, it just brings me joy. <laughs> Adrian, when he has the ability to make his own choices. Two months later, or pulling him from public school immediately. Done, sir. <laughs> uh, I love... Okay, everyone, so my memory card sort of ran out of data uh, <laughs> as I was filming because I forgot to, to clear past recording so um my i'm trying to remember where i was i was saying like i love this and it cut out i love this meme that's what i was gonna say so just to conclude for this segment here but uh yeah we're back in business <laughs> kagami slash ryuko redesigned almost forgot about her oh that's pretty cool this looks like it would be like not avatar avatar was more like, I feel like it would fit the, like, the design, but not, like, the art style, right? So, I think... What show is this reminding me of? I don't... Like, some some of, like, the, like, the Disney cartoons, like, the ones that are in more of this style, it just fits really well with that. And I quite like that. So, yeah. I really like this redesign. That's so cool. To be fair, it is the last place you'd go looking for a villain. The fact there's two episodes where Hawk Moth is akumatizing someone from the bathroom is genuinely concerning. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. What goes in the bathroom stays in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So just, 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 just don't worry about it. You don't talk about it. That's like rule one of Fight Club, right? You don't talk about Fight Club. So. It's fine. Just let Hawk Moth be. He's just trying to. He's just trying to survive and do his thing. <laughs> when you win a custom tumbler and are a diehard fan of a certain show. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's audio or not audio. There's no audio here. There's just a video. That's so cool. So I guess. Well, I guess I, I can play this. Um, I have a question about this. Is it like? Did you receive? Well, no. It says custom tumbler, right? So did you design it yourself? Like it was just a custom one, like, you know, from one of those designer websites where you get to just like input your own stuff and then they make it for you, right? Or did you like, this this actual thing is what you want from somewhere, right? I wanna know, cause I sort of wanna know where to get one, you know? So if anyone has any tips on where I can pick one up, let me know down in the comments below. Plagues no gets me every time. I'm a grown man, I'm a big adult. I can do this. No. For real though, oh my gosh. This was very sad. This was, and I'm just gonna say it because for some reason I have to bring this into every conversation. Just having SMG anim animate this, just, it feels, it hits different. You know, if it was like DQ, it'd be like, oh. But SMG, it's like, you know, you can actually see the quality tears run down people's faces with them. It just hits different, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> it's a true statement over here. And for the Tom Post of the Week, can no one get mildly annoyed in Paris? Someone stubbed their toe? Seems like a great opportunity for me to akumatize. Or I guess this is evil eyes. Same thing, you know? <laughs> ah, someone missed the bus. I can akumatize them for this. Oh, someone got an A minus on their homework instead of an A. Perfect victim for my Akuma. <laughs> for real though. I feel like, and if Hawkmark would just extend his reach a little bit, right? There are serious people during, dealing with serious problems that would make much better victims. 
than someone who stubs their toe, right? So it's like, if he would just expand his reach by a little bit, you know, it's like, hmm, could cause some serious damage there. But, oh well, he is just a cartoon evil character, and those aren't known to be very smart, so, yeah. But, you know, we can hope one day his plan succeeds and we get some drama. Like, sort of what happened when, with the season 4 finale, which completely changes everything, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm excited for season 5. Almost a month away. We're getting there. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. XD, it's honestly so funny that Adrian doesn't have a clue about what's happening around here. Not around here, around him. Also, fun fact, I don't think this is actually going to be in the video, but this may be in the bloopers. Uh, this title is a little bit weird because Kudo Neko, Kudo is black and Neko is cat. But this would be cat noir, right? But the way that it's just the, the reverse, right? Kudo Neko as in black cat and then cat noir as in cat black. So I don't know. I think that's funny. There's just a little funny thing there, but I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that I was like, that's a little off. You should stay consistent, but yeah, I don't know. Enjoy your fun little blooper thing here.